Hey there. I just got back from seeing source code. It was, let me just say, it was very good. Very amazing. Um, very, very original. Jake Gyllenhaal, everybody, Michelle, something, I don't know her last name, sorry. But, um, just out, did an outstanding job. I loved it. It was, it was very good. Um, I would definitely say it was probably my second favorite, um, uh, 2011 movie, um, but yeah, it, it was very, very interesting, I loved it so much, highly enjoyed it, so happy I saw it before it left theaters, I mean, and this is just my opinion, but I definitely think it did deserve to be number one more than Hop did, I mean, I never saw Hop, but, I mean, that's just my opinion. I mean, lots of people like Jake Gyllenhaal. I think he's a great actor. Saying, I mean, not just that we have the same first name, but yeah. Um, yeah it was very good. Very interesting. Very original, and I like that. I mean, lots of things these days are just remakes, sequels. Oh, I didn't say sequels. Remakes, books, or video games. And there's not a lot of original stuff these days, old TV shows, you know, you get it, um, but yeah, I thought it was very, very interesting, everyone did a great job, actually, you know, to be honest, the, uh, dude who played Derek Frost, I thought he looked exactly like Carrie Elwes with different hair and younger version, like, totally, I, like, totally thought he was his son or something like that, yeah, it was, it was very good, I definitely recommend this to anybody, um, who loves sci-fi movies. It was very good. I highly recommend it. Um, I cannot wait for it to come out on DVD. Um, yeah, it was very interesting. I think that I can remember I've only seen two Jake Gyllenhaal movies. This one and Love and Other Drugs. I thought Source Code was better. But, um, but I mean, there are two different kinds of movies. So, they're different. But, um... I'm pretty sure I've seen something else, but, um, yeah, uh, it was, it was very interesting, it was very good, I mean, it was a little, a little bit confusing, um, I didn't quite get it, some of it, I mean, the beginning was kind of slow, but, yeah, and it was, it was still worth the, uh, the ten dollars, well, when we went to matinee at a bow test, almost, so, um, so it was definitely worth the seven fifty. Um, I highly recommend this movie to, like I said, to anybody really who enjoys sci-fi or Jake Gyllenhaal. Well, I mean, if you don't like sci-fi, fantasy, well, I'd say fantasy, sci-fi, um, mystery solving, then definitely don't go see it. But yeah, I, I thought it was really good. Um, I, I really enjoyed this movie. Out of 10, I would probably have to give it a 7. It was, I mean, it was very good. Actually, yeah, yeah. It was very good. Um, just super, super good. I, I loved it. Go see it. I definitely recommend this. Um, it was actually kind of funny. What happened was there was no projectionist. So we, from, uh, it started at like 1.15. But, um... Well, that's when it was supposed to start. But, um... And so we, the previews didn't even start till like, 3.30. But, um... So we just sat there and listened to music. And it was just boring. But, um... But the movie was definitely very good. I highly recommend this. Once again. Sorry for repeating. Alright? And, uh... Have a good... Have a good rest of the day.